Hey, what's going on everyone? It's me again, Winston. I've had a couple of people asking me, how do you raise a vehicle or jack up your car without ruining the uh, vital components? Well, let me show you, since uh, I'm working on the, the Lexus today. I'm going to raise the front end, put wheel chocks in the back. You can, you, know, you, you can only do this on one side. You don't need to do it on both sides. Be sure to engage your e-brake. When you found the right spot to jack your vehicle up on, go ahead, go ahead and place the jack underneath the subframe. Go ahead and start raising the vehicle until you have enough clearance to place your jack stand. When you see these little notches under your, underneath your car, they're usually located behind the wheel or in front of the wheel if you're looking at the back ones. This is where your floor jacks sit under, also your scissor jacks, which is the ones that come with the car, usually. This is what a scissor jack looks like. Once your jack stand is in place, go ahead and lower the vehicle onto the jack stand. Repeat on the other side. This is the exhaust system. You don't ever want to put your jack underneath that any time. Otherwise, you're going to crush it. On this Lexus, however, you see this thick bar right next to the exhaust? This is solid. So you can put the floor jack anywhere along this bar. Okay, because these bars are usually tough enough to be able to handle the weight of the vehicle okay don't ever raise your vehicle on any of the suspension parts like the tie rod hands obviously the control arms none of that it could ruin your alignment on some vehicles like this mercedes uh, slk uh, you notice that they have these notches their special floor jack that comes with this vehicle inserts in there okay and then you you raise it by turning the crank that will raise the jack also underneath there's a notch right here where the dealerships can raise the vehicles onto this one that's for all four two on this side and two on the other over there and over there Thinking about raising the vehicle underneath, the transmission is a good place. This is very sturdy, very tough. So you can put the floor jack right underneath here, all right? And you can raise the car like that. On this IS, in the back, this is the, the rear shocks. There's this mount. You can use this also to jack up one side of the rear part of the vehicle it's uh, it's next to the exhaust so you know be careful all right but this is this is also a sturdy area be careful of the brake line when you're doing that all right and there's one on each side this is the trunk liner nowhere ever should you ever <laughs> try to raise your vehicle on that okay it's not very it's very flimsy it'll collapse okay See how hollow that sounds? Alright, looking at the front end of the bottom of the vehicle, you'll see that there's two tow hooks. Now, if your vehicle has these, great, because they're durable enough to be able to tow the car. So, you can um, support the vehicle if you're going to jack, you know, if you're going to raise the vehicle up not too high. Alright, but I would not do it along this bar right here. This is the uh, condenser and radiator core support. Very flimsy, very thin metal. You jack up your car, that's done. This is going to ruin a couple of vital things. This is the sway bar. Um, it's very solid, very strong. I wouldn't risk it though because it's so close to the harmonic balancer. So if this gets ruined, you're done. This is the oil pan. I wouldn't jack it up on this. This is the front cross member. Your engine is being supported uh, by this. This is also a good place to 
jack your vehicle up. This, very flimsy. That, very flimsy. Don't do it, okay? Front cross member, tow hooks on either side. On my lowered Honda, I use this front cross member right here. On this, on this side, on the driver's side, you have these bolts. You can put the uh, jack under there. Same on the other side. And on the back of the Honda, near the exhaust, you have this bar right here. You could put your jack. You could put your jack right there on that bolt, or on that bolt, middle of your screen. Okay. When in doubt, refer to your owner's manual, okay? Before I forget, make sure that the jack stand or the jack that you're using is rated to be able to handle the weight of the vehicle. See that frame that I'm jacking on? That's a hard frame. Go ahead and remove your jack after it's clear. Go ahead and uh, safely lower your vehicle making sure that there's nothing underneath where you're about to jack. All clear. So there you have it. That's how I raise and lower a vehicle on a jack stands properly. I might have missed a few steps. <laughs> or, you know, maybe you have a vehicle that I don't have access to that maybe you can let others know where you jack the vehicle up on your car or truck. So please leave your comments, suggestions, um, and any type of advice you can give to, to my fellow viewers, subscribers, on where to jack their vehicle up. Make sure that when you're going to give such advice, be prepared to give the, the right one, otherwise people are going to come back at you with all sorts of snide remarks and stuff like that. Okay, take care. Have, you know, be safe out there. Don't do anything crazy out there, kids. See ya.